It's been a while since the anime has aired and I already have done my rankings for the anime solo songs but this time we're going to go over your results. So this is just a poll just to give you an idea of how it worked. You give 1 to your favorite and 9 to your least favorite. So of course this is going to be the video going over the results, the average results and not going to be my results at all. So if you want to see what my picks were you would have to visit my video. I'll give you a link in the description and it will be paired with my explanations on why I voted a certain way. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump over to the rankings for these songs from 1 through 9, not including uh, Yumu's second solo song because I didn't know that was coming, but I guess it's not fair for her to have two songs anyways, so I guess, oh well. But anyways, on to the rankings. <laughs> So here is the average of all the results that I got from the poll. There's around 400 something votes, 450 maybe. So if you're going to set up all the numbers. So each one had to be ranked from 1 through 9. And the ones that got the most votes tend to do pretty well. And then all the way to the right I have the average. And of course just the ranking the numbers just to help it be easier to organize it. So for example, the worst song would have the highest average here which is 6.4. Which means on average someone would give it about a 6.5. Which... You know, isn't that great if you're considering 1 being good and 9 being not so great. So Psycho Heart got the least amount of first place votes and overall didn't do so well and that was kind of expected. Then we had a lot about Patrio getting 8th place and Emma Tradition doesn't do very well. But I guess the only exception is I Know Uta but in general most people don't find her songs that very exciting. Next we have Dive from Setsuna which for a Setsuna song is kind of underwhelming and you'll see in the comments most people agree with that. Then following that we move to popping up. You know, Cosme songs, there are people who definitely like Cosme songs, but not everyone is necessarily a big fan of that. And you can kind of see that being reflected in the rankings as, you know, there are still a decent amount of people putting in the higher ups, but there's still a lot of people also putting pretty low for her. So again, she did alright, but could have done better. Dream With You is definitely a song I think is really underrated, but a lot of people said this song was pretty boring. And very bland or even not that great for a human song which I felt this song had more of an interesting style and flavor compared to other soul songs but I do think that one's underrated and I feel like people should give it more love and then there's Vivid World definitely there are a lot of fans who like the song but there are occasional people who thought this one's also boring but visually this is definitely one of the most interesting out there and it's a very fun light show kind of a performance and we got to Sunagar Connect, which a lot of people really like this song. It's definitely way higher up. And I'm glad because I do think this is a pretty good read song. It hasn't been my favorite, but I do think this is definitely a quality song out there. And of course, the MV that is associated with it, it was just very, very quality. So, this was no surprise that I got up this high. Even higher, we have Solitude Rain, which has 94 votes for first place. And just the imagery and the animation was just very well done here. And... I just really like the scenes where they have dancing and with the dresses and the water and the rain just looks so nice in it. So definitely a very good job in terms of the animation here. And then we have the winner being Butterfly to pretty much no surprise for most people as Butterfly was definitely the favorite and I absolutely agree I have no qualms with that whatsoever. The animation and the scene selection was just top notch here. The song is fun and lively which you know this really helps change the image that Kanata has and especially because it, this song was associated with her younger sister Haruka and that being part of the lyrics with Hanukkah and Kanata 
were just so great. And the song is just really fun and lively. I know some people did say it was boring. But I find this really energetic almost. Which is just kind of contrast to what she normally does. And I think it's done very very well. And using the demographics I got a new chart here. Where I have sectioned it by strictly just males, females, people in the US, Europeans and Asians. And of course all the way to the right is the overall just for you to look at. So you can see, you know, what demographic likes certain songs more. So for example, the favorite uh, the bu for Butterfly was females, while the worst section for Butterfly was Europe. So you can see that from the yellow and red highlighting. And you can compare that and you can see females like Butterfly more than males. Or if you look at Psycho Heart, males tend to not like it as much as females. So uh, this is, I think, is just a very interesting thing to look at. I don't know if you want to grab too much from it because I still don't have, like, everyone voting in here but this still is a nice way to see and take a look and see what kind of people like it or don't like it as much so you can see like la belle patria europeans don't like it but asians seem to like it a lot more so you can take a look at those big differences out there but those are just the overalls from certain sections so let me know if any of these surprise you and which one you belong if you want to let other people know and these are the rest of the demographics so you can get a big idea of specific numbers or just an overall visual look and of course thank you to coolmax for supporting this channel and of course thank you to all who participated in this poll as their names will show on the screen thank you guys so much for participating in this poll i appreciate your participation as this wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you guys so much for that and of course i will follow with a barrage of comments as a lot of people were willing to explain why they voted in certain ways so Take a gander and look at those. Maybe one of your comments will be up there. Because there were a lot. So those are the results from the poll. Again, those are not my picks. These is the average of everyone else who voted in this poll. There is basically one song that I probably would argue a bit. Which would be Dream With You. I still think it's a bit underrated by a lot of people. And a lot of people find it boring. But I think there's a lot more to that. And especially if you just look at the MV. I really enjoy the emotion and kind of that tension you feel when you listen to that song. But, you know, not everyone has to agree with that. But overall, I more or less agree with the results, and I'm really glad that Butterfly is number one, as that's definitely been my favorite. But let me know, how do you feel about these songs in general? Has this changed your listening experience to Love Live? Are any songs now in your top 10 or so, or top five songs? How often do you listen to it now, as now it's been a little while since then? Have your feelings changed about these songs since then? For me, kind of. I think Poppin' Up has moved a little down since then, but everything else, it's been pretty good. I still listen to Butterfly and Dream with you till this day a good amount. And I'll, I'll mix in like Vivid World and Sinaga Connect once in a while, and maybe occasionally Poppin' Up and La Bella Patria. And let me know what you guys think about these songs, and what are your hopes for Season 2 if that's coming. Let's hope that is the case. I'm going to make that assumption, and hopefully I'm not wrong. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon.